We are not afraid, and our resolve will never waver in the face of terrorism. British Prime Minister Theresa May addressed British Parliament Wednesday about the Westminster attack. Speaking in the House of Commons, May said that the person who perpetrated the attack, which left four dead and almost 30 injured, was a British national known to security services and with former links to extreme violence. The so-called Islamic State has also claimed responsibility. He was a peripheral figure. The case is historic. He was not part of the current intelligence picture. There was no prior intelligence of his intent or of the plot. The leader also pointed out that after the attack, British democracy will continue and defend the same values. And we meet here in the oldest of all parliaments because we know that democracy and the values it entails will always prevail. Those values, free speech, liberty, human rights and the rule of law, are embodied here in this place. During the attack, the assailant drove his vehicle into pedestrians walking along Westminster Bridge and then crashed a car against the fence protecting the Houses of Parliament. The man was shot several times after stabbing one of the police officers guarding the building. The four people who died in the attack include the attacker, Keith Palmer, a 48-year-old British police officer, Aisha Freight, a 43-year-old British national of Spanish origin, and Kurt Cochran, an American whose wife was injured in the attack.